sandstone, obsidian, pyrite. Hey, the bot. What you up to? Oh, I was just going through my rock collection. I forgot I had so many. Mm, find anything good? Sure. Some precious stones. This one's my favorite. It's quartz. That quartz does look special. Where did you get it? There was a rock show at the museum. I thought there would be more guitar solos, but it turned out to be a bunch of people trading minerals. So I got this quartz because it looks really neat. It looks neat because it is neat. We use quartz in electronics all the time. Did someone say time? Wow. Oh, why, yes. I was just explaining to Ada about how quartz is used in electronics. Excellent. Adabot, do you know why I am the world's greatest integrated circuit? No, Hans, why are you the world's greatest? Timing! It's oh. what I take care of in the circuit. And do you know why my timing is so impeccable? No, why is your timing so impeccable? Quartz! And why does quartz create perfect timing? Um, are you going to keep interrupting me? Oh, settle down, Hans. I can explain why quartz is so important for timing. Why, thank you. You see, certain materials, such as quartz crystals, are piezoelectric. Simply put, this means if you apply a small amount of mechanical force to a piece of quartz, it will generate a small electrical voltage. Whoa, that sounds pretty unusual. So, if I crush quartz, would it shock me? Well, you, you have to squeeze it very lightly and, and just right, and the electrical voltage is very, very small, but yes, I, I suppose you're right. And the opposite is also true. If you apply voltage to a piece of quartz, it will respond with a precise mechanical vibration. Whoa, quartz sounds like magic. It's not magic, Adabot, it's science. Take a look inside this quartz watch, for instance. This little integrated circuit here passes electrical current to the quartz crystal. Then, the quartz vibrates at precisely 32,768 times per second. The IC detects the vibrations, counts them one by one, and when it gets all 32,768, it knows one second has passed. So there's a quartz crystal inside of that little metal container? Yeah. And it looks something like this. Hey, that looks like a tuning fork. That's true, it does look like a tuning fork. Musicians use tuning forks to tune their instruments. And circuits use quartz to tune their timing. You're right! Very true, Adabot. Quartz is an important reference for the timing of so many circuits. Microcontrollers, computers, and more. I always wondered what was in those little metal cans. And now, I know. Well, it's about time. Adabot, I believe Minerva just made a time joke. Is that what that was? Hey-oh! Thank you, thank you.